Hi everyone, welcome to another cosplay tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up cosplay for emptying out the grain silos. Now on Sosnovka, I currently have a combine harvester on field number 28 and a tractor driving the weed back to the grain silo. And I think we can see them here. And they're doing just fine, but the problem here is that the grain silos on Sosnovka don't really contain a lot of storage space. So if we look up here in the grain silo, oops, that was actually the one we were in here. I currently have 73,999 liters of wheat in the silos. And these silos only contains up to 100,000 liters. So I need to do something to get rid of all of this wheat. And to do that, well, I'm going to drive that wheat off to somewhere else. Uh, the logical thing here would be to drive it to the transport company, which pays the most for it currently. So if we go ahead and look at where the transport company is, that's all the way over there. Now I have a ton of things to do, so I can't really sit and drive all the way over there. So I'm going to set up cosplay to do that driving for me. And to do that, I'm going to need a vehicle that can transport all the grain. So I have this truck standing ready for us here. So if we drive into the truck, I'll jump into the truck and start up the engine. And let's open the cosplay hut, which we do by clicking the right mouse button. So for this one, we want to be in the grain transport mode. Now notice how it says load at start if you look down below. That means that we need to set up the start point in the silo where we are going to load. So if we drive over here to the silo, right here, like so, see we have the start filling um, option in the menu. So this would be the place to start the recording. And actually, I want to start the recording from the other side. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind when you do these recordings is that you want to approach the silo trigger from the same side no matter what you're doing. So if I set up a course starting from here, I always want to make any other course go in the same direction underneath the silo. So this would be a good place to start the recording. So let's start the course recording. And that's one waypoint, two waypoint, and we need the third waypoint before we can make any sharp turn. So there we go. So now I'm just going to drive a basic route up to the transport company. I'm going to stick to the road and stick to the side of the road so I can have several cosplay courses running at the same time. This is a very, very basic loop, so there's nothing really fancy about it. Um, Keep in mind that Cosplay will try to drive the course in the same way that you do it. Um, so any turn that you make or any sudden break breaking that you make, Cosplay will mimic that and do the same thing. Which also means that it would have been a good idea for me to turn off traffic before I recorded this route. Because if I run into traffic, I'm going to have to adjust my speed to the traffic that I encounter and Cosplay will do the same. So it would actually be a very good idea to turn off traffic. I forgot about that, but yeah, there you go. So we're going straight through the city with full speed. And let's just hope that we're not going to crash into stuff. And we have the transport company coming up not too far ahead now. And now we're going to run into traffic. So we're going to have to adjust the speed to the car in front of us. And we can do that simply by driving up to the car and just crash into it and go full speed. And then we'll have a constant speed of about 30 kilometers an hour. Now the transport company is coming up to our right here, so it's not really that big of a deal. But we do want to slow down because we have to remember that the truck will be coming at full load to drive into here. And we're just going to go through the tip trigger. We're not going to set a wait point or anything. Just through the tip trigger. And I'm just going to pause the recording and turn off traffic for the way back. 
Um, traffic off. There we go. So there's no need to set a wait point here. There's no need to do anything just to drive through the trigger. Uh, Cosplay will recognize the trigger and stop on its own. So let's continue the recording. And now we're going to head back to the farm. Keep in mind that Cosplay will try to mimic the exact course that you are recording. Anyway, I'm going to speed up time and I'll see you back at the farm. Okay, so here we are back at the farm and we're just going to drive back to the silo. Like so. And we're going to stop the recording just about here. Okay, so now we have a course set up from the farm silo to the transport company. Let's save that course so we don't need to drive that course again or record that course again. So. I'm going to call this um, farm silo to transport company. There we go. I'm not going to specify what I'm driving there because I can have multiple, uh, I can have different um, serial driving each time. So I'm not going to specify what it is that I'm driving. I'm just going to call it farm silo to transport company. So if we go into the uh, manage courses, which is the globe here, I don't currently have a um, a container for for transporting. So I'm going to make a new container, and I'm going to call this transport. And inside that container, I'm going to make another container, and we're going to call this container. farm silo so the farm silo container we're going to move into the transport container and then we're going to move this course here the farm silo to transport company we're going to move that into the transport container and the farm silo container so now we can set up several transport courses. We can have a course going from the farm silo to the transport company, which we just set up. We can also have a course going from the farm silo to the grain mill. Um, we can set up several courses if we want to. If we go into the map, we can set up uh, several courses from the farm silo if we wanted to. We can go into the village grain elevator. We can go to the bakery. We can go to, to anywhere we really want to go here and record these um, courses and just store them inside here. Now when you make your courses, try to come up with a system that makes sense to you. This makes sense to me, so so I'm fairly pleased with it. Um, and let's just have a look at the prices if we're still good. We are still good, so we want to go to the transport company. I'm not going to record a course to the bakery right now because there's no need for it seeing as the transport company will pay us the most for our weed. So this course is ready to go. Now we just need to set up a couple of things here. We need to tell it the number of runs to perform. We're going to say unlimited. Uh, we're going to let it drive until there is no more weed in the silo. And we are going to load weed at the farm silo. So let's start the course at the first waypoint. And here we go. So he's going to drive underneath the silo. And he's going to fill up um, the trailer. And meanwhile, over at field 28, they're still harvesting away. And he's just about ready to go now. There we go, and he's off. And 
and hopefully he's not going to encounter any traffic. Well, he isn't because I actually turned off traffic. Let's turn that on again so we can see what happens if he actually runs into traffic. There we go. Traffic is on and he's driving all the best he can. Oh, it's a she. I tend to hire female workers for some reason. I don't know why. It's nothing sexist about it. These transport courses that we set up here are very basic transport courses. Um, and you can use them for anything. You can use them to set up a course from uh, from here, from the shop, machine shop, back to the farm. So you can have your equipment delivered back to your farm without you having to drive the course. Uh, you can set them up for well, basically anything that needs transporting. You can even set up transport courses to each field if you want. So, the thing about that is that you really, really, really need to set up a lot of courses. And that can be very tedious to do that. Um, but in this video, I'm not going to show you a better way. I am just going to tell you, you can set up courses to each and every field that if that you have um, on the map. There is a better way of doing it, no doubt about that. And and I'm, I will be showing you that in another video. Huh, seems like I'm missing some water there, doesn't it? And it seems like the harvester, combine harvester, is in traffic. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to correct that. But we'll do that later on. So I'm actually quite curious if he's going to manage to get into the transport company. Those gates are quite narrow. And I I don't believe I set that up in a perfectly good way, to be honest. He's driving very slow, which is good. Yes, just managing. Wow, that was that was um that was something else, wasn't it? All right, so he um you can tell down here that he has reads the tip trigger, so he knows what to do here, and he's going to unload right here. There we go, and and he's empty, and he's heading back to the farm. There we go. So I'll speed up time once again and I'll see you back at the farm. Alright, so we are approaching the farm once again, and yes, of course, we were stuck in traffic. Um, that's something that I don't really understand. The traffic is going so incredibly slow in farming simulator. I, I really think Giants needs to uh, needs to address that uh, in some way. I know that it's for the traffic detection to work uh, perfectly, but anyway. Right, we're back at the farm, and we are getting a full load again and he's driving up off to the transport company now meanwhile while he's doing that i am gonna go fix the problem with the combine harvester so let's have a look where is it it's right there oh it's actually because it's done here well that's good so we don't need to do anything more about that other than stop the driver and we're going to send the tractor home. So he's going to drive back to the farm and unload. Alright, let's head back to the truck. 
and to see how it's going here. So he's back to the transport company now. And off he goes. Alright guys, that was it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something and if you have any comments or any questions, do post them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.